Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a little shop with me. We went shopping and I just thought I would film some clips. So this is in the Swindon Designer Outlets and this shop, Neon Sheep, is one of my favorites. had so many little stocking filler bits, £2.50 or under, little candles, little popcorn, the reed diffusers, little Christmas house tea light holder, uh, just so cute. They also had all these coasters, all different colours, initials, some dog ones, they just had loads of different ones and some of the mugs were only £2 or £2.40 as well, like even cheaper than the coasters and they had so many different options. I was drawn to all of this bee home decor because you know I love mustard. This is so affordable, just little updates in your room will change the whole theme of the room and yeah, they just had such good deals, I wish I had bought more now. They had a lot of bath products, pamper products, bath bombs, bubble bath, eye masks, hair masks, loads of that which I think make really good stocking fillers because not only do they fill up the stocking, they are also consumables that you'll buy all the time anyway, things that you need which I think is really helpful as well. Okay, so moving on, now we are in the works. They've got their two for £10 mix and match on and a lot of it is crafting or games which make great presents for everyone, even friends at school, just something to keep them occupied when it's a rainy day. They also had this fidget advent calendar for just £15, which is the cheapest I've seen one so far. They also had a lot of these book collections and sets which make great presents, you cannot go wrong with a book. had a lot of Christmas like colouring, magic painting, paint by numbers, word searches, all things like that. The girls had the elf one last year and it kept them occupied. There's like over 60 stickers and things like that and every day when they got home from school they just did one page or something and it just leads up to Christmas, gets them excited. They also had this scratch art which I thought was really cute as well and then they also had their books on 10 for £10 and they had a lot of different Christmas ones so if you're doing like a Christmas advent or you want to get your toddler a lot of Christmas books to start their collection, The Works is a really good place to go. I thought 
I would point out this past the sprout as well for four pounds we had this the Christmas of lockdown and it was so much fun so I thought I would just tell you that and then they do have the two for £20 as well. There are a few good things in here. I did like the make your own bath bomb and lip balm set. They also had a lot of Christmas crafts as well. They're always good for crafting stuff. If you do like a Christmas Eve box or crafting on Christmas Eve, we're gonna try and do ours more from the recycling this year, but they do have some good sets. And then I found a few wooden games as well, which I thought was really good. I thought Roma would like this Coca Melon memory game. And they also had the Peppa Pig wooden puzzle, which I thought was quite good as well. And then behind me, I also spotted this My Giant Storybook Library. So this is a great advent calendar as well. It's £10 and you get 24 books. So again, good for all ages but maybe a baby or a toddler that hasn't got a massive book collection at the moment and then by the till I spotted this Christmas planner and I'm kicking myself I didn't pick it up now it was only three pounds but you can use it year after year after year and inside it has a place for like Christmas card list food shopping things not to forget and then it also has the gift planner section so name budget things that you are planning on buying I thought that was really good Now we're in Hamleys looking at all of the toys, so they had these mini games for £4.20 which would make great stocking fillers, they also had these little like chess, tic-tac-toe, Chinese checkers, Uno, um, they had some orchard toys puzzles as well that were really good. Um, and also this Scrabble, I thought that would be quite good for Sienna actually. And then they also have the Melissa and Doug which are a good quality wooden toy range. Next I just had a quick look in Claire's just to see, I do love their like seasonal things, they had a lot of Christmas headbands which was so cute, I loved this one covered in gems, they had Christmas earrings as well which I was really tempted to get. I did get this mug, actually Warren bought this for me, I absolutely loved it, it was £7 and they also had this little Christmas gnome one with the hat as well. Now we are in M&S, I think their stuff is really good quality but I do prefer an outlet for the cheaper prices. They had loads of different decorations and they were really, really lovely. This light up one was down to £3.50 which is just adorable. These Santa's felt ones were only £2. You could literally just get your whole new Christmas decorations in here. These ones were £1.50 with the fa la 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 on it and then they had sets of baubles as well i thought these little glass ones were really really pretty and they were eight pound fifty for a set of nine They did have some really lovely cardigans and jumpers and winter items as well so I have included them I'm not sure if they're technically Christmas gifts but I guess some people want clothes for Christmas so I thought I would include it anyway. They 
they also had some really really cozy fluffy dressing gowns onesies nighties pajamas slippers so many different things and i always think they make great christmas gifts as well or christmas eve boxes Speaking of Christmas Eve boxes, I found this wooden one which I absolutely loved. And they also had some great little really affordable stocking fillers as well like these puzzles, some games and things like that. So that's it, that's all the footage I managed to get. I hope you found it interesting, there were some absolute bargains and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!